So today we're checking out the Soul Seeker Salem mod. This mod seems absolutely insane and I'm stupid excited to see what's going on. So the idea with this guy is basically whenever you have this mod installed, after a certain period of time per floor, this dude called Salem comes out and he wants to reap your entire soul. You know, uh, typical Binding of Isaac things, right? Treasure Room has Halo, that's a really good start for ourselves. So it's basically encouraging you to not only play fast because, oh, boss rush, hush and whatever, but now there's a ghost chasing you around and you don't want to die. The ghost will kind of float around and on a hit, it'll work similar to Dark Esau where he turns you into the Lost, except you get a one hit Holy Mantle as the Lost. So, you know, they turn you into the Lost and then you get like a wooden cross effectively, right? Is the best way I could explain that. Oh my god, what the hell? She's coming. Um, after which, once you turn into the Lost, uh, they become super mega powerful and they kind of suck you around. You know, the champion effect, the sucking one. Salem will gain that ability and suck you towards her. And according to the workshop, once phase two starts and you're the Lost, you are not suspected to survive. Now, regularly, Salem appears, I think, uh, every four minutes per floor. However, I've gone and said to uh, two minutes and 15 seconds. <laughs> So we are about to see them if I don't hurry up really quickly, which is a terrifying thing to think about. Please bomb, get out of here. We, we survived. I'm not gonna roll that. Oh God, get me out. No, 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 <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now don't get me wrong. I do also want to see Salem, but not on the very first floor. Excuse me? Why are you gonging already? The bells toll. You know what? We're good. Never mind. The bells do not toll. We're okay. Treasure room in here, I take blind, rubber cement, one of my OG favorites, thank you. I think we have a minute left on this uh, floor, yeah, there you go, that's about the halfway mark, I believe, for uh, Salem starts coming, but I think we cleared this one out pretty well, don't scare me like that. It's like, death has come for you, run my child. Boom, glitched item? Oh, you guys know I gotta do it. Or should I? No, you know what? It might glitch out Salem. That'd be kind of weird. I have access to rolls. I'll get a keeper's box. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, right? But I don't want anything to mess with Salem because they are the main thing I want to see. We might accidentally see them during the boss fight. This is not something I wanted to happen, but it's gonna maybe if I take too long. And if we don't see them on this floor, I guarantee you, you know, progressively within uh, probably Dross 2 or Caves Dose continuing forward, those floors start getting bigger and bigger, right? So we'll definitely see Salem naturally by then. Especially with the mirror dimension, right? I mean, Dross 2 takes up so much time when you have a lot to min-max. Oh my god, they're coming! Get out of here! Please, don't do this! I have a family! Get me out! Uh, I don't have a roll. Give me this, and then we go! I- I actually got jump scared. I'm not even kidding. I- I got jump scared in the Binding of Isaac. I got so scared! Don't- Don't do that. I don't want this person to be in my game anymore. I'm terrified. I really thought I was gonna make it out on time, but I got like a frame of Salem, which just played the largest bell I ever done heard. Scaring the bejesus out of me. What about in here? Uh, blind again, mom's razor, it's okay. Let's go ghost, this time on purpose, not because of Salem. Take this black heart. That's right, Salem, this is what I say to you. I turned myself into a ghost, how do you feel? My parents built a very strange machine. <laughs> All right, yikes. All right, <laughs> never mind. We'll, we'll take that. Let's go mirror dimension. So I did explain the mechanics of, of how Salem works, right? So what I'm curious about is how the heck does it work when I'm already a ghost? And do I want to find out? Probably not. I imagine I just die. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus, you got to stop doing that, dude. Or maybe it's actually going to overtake this lost form. I could see it being more likely, right? So maybe when I touch Salem, I'll turn into a different version of Lost, the Salem Lost, where I only get one Holy Mantle. So let's avoid- Ooh! Wait, I wonder, can I use these white fires now? Turn into a ghost? Cool! Hey, hey, Jesus, man, what are you doing? So yeah, when Salem spawns, there's a few mechanics that happen. Every single fire in the floor turns uh, silver, and I guess you could just become a ghost, as in uh, Dross 2. As well as something very, very, very interesting. When Salem is out, every single trinket at least I, I thought, um, hmm. Well, every single trinket, I believe, is supposed to turn into a silver trinket. And a silver trinket is special because you can just instantly gulp them. Maybe Salem needs to be uh, phase two for that. I'll do some further testing on this run, we'll see. Because we know that Salem is supposed to be even harder later on when they specifically touch me. Again, I don't have the correct form of ghost. I got the, the more easier one right now. Let's roll this. 
Oh, 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 what? Excuse me, that was sick. What? That was awesome. Is it every item? Oh, I'm, I didn't, I can't read. <laughs> Wait, that's a way cooler concept. I see. So every new item that wasn't picked up before Salem spawned gets turned into a silver trinket, which is a gulpable instant trinket for your inventory. That is so cool, actually. I am kind of concerned on how a boss fight will work while trying to juggle Salem, but right now Salem doesn't seem too terrible, right? She, uh, it's pretty slow. Just kind of moseys along and just kind of makes me think about, you know, where I'm going, but nothing too crazy. Hello, Rainmaker. It's like uh, Pizza Tower Pizza Face, except if they were like half as slow. Okay, Salem is kind of moseying along and it is very ominous. <laughs> I have effectively been jump scared twice now in the Binding of Isaac. Oh, hello, I forgot that would happen. But I think we'll be fine. Hello, cousin. You're mine forever. Let's dip out of here, dude. I don't want to deal with Salem. So I wonder what happens to shops when Salem is out. Uh, they're fine? Or maybe when I pick them up, they become trinkets? Or nope, shops are just in the clear. You're fine, don't worry about it. Luck up there? I didn't realize that was a luck up. Okay, let's go, dude. So the next time Salem spawns, I want to see their phase two, like, uh-oh, big boy, you're not supposed to survive. And I do want to test how hard it would be, because that's, that's what they said. You're not suspected to survive once they hit phase two. They turn you into the loss with one holy mantle, right? I'm curious what that's like. Because all I know is that apparently she activates suction mode, but I don't know how, you know, like heavy the suction is. I don't know how, uh, you know, how much it affects gameplay. So next time I naturally see her, we'll try that out. All right, you can get up now, dude. <laughs> Stall on the video, hello. <laughs> You're making this incredibly hard to receive dopamine right now. I require baby sensory and I require it right now. Vault engaged. Ooh, do I really want to give that up? Um, honestly, it's more fun. Yeah, Ali was uh, does downgrade. <laughs> 100% a downgrade, but a, a risk I was willing to take, and I'm not that disappointed about, honestly. Just doesn't feel right taking it when you're uh, kind of chilling on health already. Treasure, though, gives me a candy heart. I have red hearts to work with. I like this. Um, is it already time for you to show up? This is the second gong, right? I- I- when it, no way. Did I- OH I MADE IT TOO SHORT! <laughs> Every time, without fail, I swear I get jump scared. It does not take a lot to scare me. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Uh... Jesus, I didn't expect to see you here. Uh, you know what? Sure, touch me. What happens? Oh, I missed the animation! <gasps> oh my god! Okay, I'll, tr I'll look at the animation again later. Okay, they are much faster, an actual threat, and they suck me in. And I imagine they also persist through floors, right? Like, if I come here and I wait for a bit, uh, person- yeah, okay. Oh, interesting as well, look at that! So, despite them not being on screen, I can go like three rooms ahead. And the suction is actually still persisting. You can see I'm slowly moving. I'm not pressing anything right now. This is pretty sick. I'm getting hey yeah 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 yeah. I'm getting uh, nostalgic. I'm feeling like I'm playing Dark Esau on a uh, on release, right? Because Dark Esau release repentance. I mean, I I will say it. That was genuinely the hardest Isaac character I ever did play. Maybe like original Rebirth Lost is also up there. To be fair, No Holy Mantle was pretty crazy, but Dead Cat exists, right? But honestly, like original Tainted Jacob was just that boy. Give me this crystal key. You're still scaring me, dude. Get me out of here. I th I don't think that's what's supposed to happen. I don't know what happened. Let's leave. So I, I get out of ghost mode, right? Like I'm cool. I'm fine. Yeah, no more mantle. So I don't know what happened there. That didn't seem correct. <laughs> it seemed like I somehow picked up Glyph of Balance, but I'm pretty sure all items on the floor are supposed to turn into trinkets, right? Also, Glyph of Balance had like a really weird hitbox. I accidentally ran into it. I wanted to roll it. But well, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, so moving forward, Salem is going to be a genuine problem. You know, I'm done experimenting at this point. Salem themselves will just be an issue. These floors are getting longer and longer, bigger and bigger, and my damage is not really compensating. I'm unable to go as fast as I want, despite me really doing a lot of things necessary, I think, to move things along. I am trying to play fast, I promise you. So I think womb onwards, things are gonna get real tough, and if I don't get a power buff soon, I'm gonna have to like unlock the gamer mode zone in order to have any chance of uh, me defeating Salem. To even stand a chance against this Salem character. Uh, this is an incredible room. Oh my god, how? I've done, I haven't found- I've barely moved! <laughs> this is an incredible room. I, pr I placed the bomb wrong. Uh oh. This is good. I got a tears up. Super worth the, the stop by. It really matters. I mean, I basically have an Incubus too, right? Through little Claudie. So any form of stats are gonna be essential. Okay, shop. I understand. 
It's also important to just find the item rooms, right? It really does encourage going fast. Not only are you just at a threat of dying for the run, all your items are getting turned into trinkets, right? Like, I don't find my treasure room in time here. I guarantee you I don't. So what happens? I just get a trinket at the end when I find it. A little bit of punishment there, right? Kind of fun. Um, I, it's not useful. That's at least something, right? That's more useful. Suicide King. I don't have a res. Uh, time to go. She's here. What's in here? Oh, no. What? <laughs> Salem, you asshole. What the hell's wrong with you? You've turned my epic fetus into a cousin. What's with all the cousins, by the way? It's pretty cool. Where, where is Salem? I feel like I've been fighting this boss for a bit, like a good 10 seconds. Did I really run that fast? <laughs> I guess that is an interesting strategy, right? If you feel like you're gonna have a long boss fight, you could train Salem a la like zombies or something. Put them all the way on the other side of the map and then just bum rush all the way to the boss so you have a clean boss fight where they do not pester you. Uh, I didn't get anything, so let's just go. Oh, I didn't touch it. Uh, you know what? I'll make up for it. Don't worry. You know why I'll make up for it? Because the moment Salem spawns, I'll touch them and do the entire floor lossified. Okay, there you go. I made up for it. Is it going to be easy? No. Will I die? Probably. <laughs> but that's part of the challenge, right? Now we're amping it up. Every single floor, I'm going to amp it up, right? What if like on the chest, I, I just wait in the starting room and then I wait for Salem to come and then I try and do the entire chest. While Salem is phase 2 that would be kind of sick, actually. But I really do enjoy this. Remember, it, Salem depends on how fast you want Salem to appear. I literally went in the settings and uh, turned it down. So if it's too fast for you, because right now it does seem pretty fast, yeah, gotta remember, default is 4 minutes. So you can even set it to be min-max friendly if you're that type of player, right? Oh, roll? Key bump. Sure, I guess. Thanks for showing me this tinted rock for half a second as well. Not like it matters when I get hit by the dude who wants to steal my soul. Oh my god, no triple dime! <laughs> oh, alright, time to go. I'm sure Salem is gonna appear any second and I'm gonna uh, crap myself. Oh, there it is! Okay, well, I hard committed and I gotta do it. Boom. Okay, oh, that's what happens, I see. Basically, they get mad I broke the lantern, sorry. Alright, at least we're fine. We created some distance against Salem, so I think if we could defeat this room fast enough, we'll have a clean treasure room and take whatever we want. We cannot roll it, obviously. We don't have a d20 of a d6. That'd be kind of cool though, right? D20 might be uh, pretty good in, uh, against Salem. Oh, I would have liked that item. <laughs> oh, no way! Crystal key, really? No! Chad! I don't really care about Chad, but it was the principle that matters, right? Wow, I got ultra secret. I got basically everything. I didn't get secret, but am I, I'm too scared. I don't know. Okay, if it's not here, I'll just leave. Oh, come on! All right, I'll check it. Oh, no! Salem, you asshole! That's the second time! Oh, Salem is just something else to deal with. I understand. Okay. Do not mess with this guy. He will destroy you. Hey, 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 hey! Chill, 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 chill. I gotta, like, guess a bomb or something. Oh, my God! Oh, wow, look, guys, I did it. Woohoo. Jesus Christ, you are annoying, Salem. I can confirm 100%. The mod workshop does not lie. You are not suspected to survive. Am I saying suspected? I mean expected. This Salem person's really messing with my brain. Okay, let's choose up. I guarantee you I won't have a woo moment. I will find the boss on my first try. Uh, nothing. But we can keep going into the... What the heck? Hello? What is happening? Thank you? All right, sure, I'll fight the angel. A divine intervention? I don't think in my mind you'd be able to push around uh, Salem with divine intervention just because you can't do that with Dark Esau, right? So I'm assuming they have similar AI. Mom Shadow and such, right? So we will avoid that. Instead, just roll. Maybe something good. That is absurdly good. Bookworm Progress as well. I have the money to really take care of Stairway and have it useful to me. So this is huge. I have not heard something gong. I found the boss really fast. Whoa! Now that is how you should be playing when Salem is on the loose, right? Uh-oh, time to go! <laughs> really, really, really clutch red key. That crystal key was so insane, dude. Letting me skip so much and giving me a free angel. I hope I... Wait. Oh, man, I'm gonna land the angel, though. Ah, well. Alright, so take this HP up, and then let's go. I can't believe I had a late game floor while not actually having Salem. I don't think that's gonna happen here as well, you know, it's pretty unlikely. But it would be pretty sick. Any crane game in here? Nope. Uh, time to go then. Also, I was really lucky with our mapping. I did guess correctly. Honestly? I mean, Salem's about to spawn, but this has been really good for us. Our wound floors, for the first time ever, have genuinely felt, like, just really good. Like, I, I, no bad anything. I'm already fighting it lives, they're not even here. 
beautiful mapping. Super lucky for me. Yeah, this would be a lot easier if I had uh, damage. <laughs> To be fair, like, Salem, don't get me wrong, is an absolute powerhouse. Do not cross paths with that person. You will crumple and die. However, maybe not as hard if I had, you know, a good item. But not today. Oh my god, I could do hush. <gasps> I have to. You don't give me hush with Salem and let me pass up. No, no, no. What's in here? Oh my god. I was so disgusted I turned into a weird British hybrid thing. Oh, nice though. That's good. Reroll you. Uh, I so oh, I gotta take this. Not leaf is okay, don't get me wrong, but it does not protect against Dark Esau. So I'm assuming it doesn't protect against uh, Salem as well, right? I have to do this looting thing really fast because while I'm doing all of this, the oh balls, the timer is still going, and I cannot waste time. Sure, take you. Sure, it doesn't really matter. No luck up, so we just leave. That's okay. Just kidding, I'm trolling all of you. I did see this. Don't worry, I know there's a crawl space. I'm sorry, what? Did I just get scammed? Should I? I was I was setting up a joke. Hello. There's no crawl space anymore? You just don't feel like it? What? Okay, that's cool. I think by the time I beat Blue Baby, Salem will spawn and we'll have a full-on Hush Salem thing. A little scary, but we just gotta try it. Oh, I'll get a bit of time, I guess. Okay, well, a bit of time translated to about 30 seconds. It's time to die. I do think it's pretty interesting putting into perspective how long it takes for every time. It just it gives me a little jump. It's really interesting to me uh, the time difference it takes for clearing floors versus like fighting Hush, right? I never really thought about it, but fighting Hush really is like f taking on a whole floor in terms of time. It usually feels a lot faster, I guess. It's also probably my damage. However, Salem doesn't seem too effective here just because the entire floor is so large. I can just go back and forth and I'll be okay. Like, oh, Salem is in this direction? Okay, I, uh, I'll be alone for about a good like 15 seconds before I have to relocate again. Continuum could be a problem though because Continuum requires you to stay still and I don't want to do that. Oh my god, I'm having to make so much sh moves to get to the place that I want to be. Why hush lasers? I hate hush lasers. Why would you do it twice? That's some baloney! Please. Trinity shield. Hold down the fork! <laughs> Hold the door! Yeah! I was down to red HP, dude. That is not okay. Oh my- Alright, well, that hush fight took it out of me. I- I shouldn't have spent all my money, but it, it didn't even matter, did it? There you go. At least gain a bit of my HP back. Uh, I'm just gonna roll this angel. Hopefully the 15 cent item doesn't turn into something good, because I won't be able to afford it. Knowing my luck today, that might just happen. Oh well. Oh, the sensor's okay. And salvation is also good, but I don't feel bad about missing out on it, right? Oh my god, brimstone, laser eyes, double buble. A strong combination to try and uh, destroy my HP, but I am okay for now. It's up until Salem decides to mosey on and say hello to my build, in which case I become terrified. And that was that was Salem without being lostified, right? Like my soul was not taken in that situation. I was fine. I was just struggling base-wise. Oh my god, an ultra secret room. Please something good no i'm gonna i'm gonna roll this i'm gonna roll it before salem spawns because if salem spawns i don't get to have that anymore i have to hurry up i don't think i'm even gonna get the roll in time this is bad oh my god i'm not it's gonna be jello forever i'm just gonna get a, a permanent trinket please hurry up salem don't do this please just give no, no. oh what's the what do i get oh flat patty thank you all right satan we, we're on a bit of a time crunch here it's, this viz is gonna have to take care of the fawn real quick we can't be here very long, you don't understand. Someone's looking for my soul, and I'm not a fan. Wow, Sensor going hard. Sensor Trinity Shield, an absolute god combo, right? Salem's on their way. It looks like we took care of so Oh, that poor Viz. <laughs> we took care of Satan pretty fast. Very cool. Get me out. Hey, 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 I touched the chest, not you. Get me in. Get me in. Get me in. Not, not you. Oh, okay. Still no money, to be honest with you. What is it? Oh, oh it hurts. Nothing but pain. Maybe these will roll into something good. Or I just get something good. Oh my god, dead cat. Oh my god, dead cat. Guppy's tail. What? Kid, what are you doing to me? Okay, fine. Get out of jail free. Roll. Sure. Bookworm progress, except it's not really bookworm. Nah, I don't think that's worth. Tractor beam's stupid good here, right? Basically removes the downside for ringworm. Uh, not entirely. Yeah, they can still leave the tractor beam, but just not as effectively. Well, Salem's here, and I did about a quarter of the dark room terrifying i do feel more powerful though it, it's not impossible this time oh my goodness oh now that salem's here i get no more items huh uh oh so this is basically the build i'm stuck with is what you're telling me oh god <laughs> i didn't consider this Ooh, yikes uh oh 
What what happens? Okay, I see. That happens. Interesting. Well, picking up paperclip is actually funny here because it gives us those two extra trinkets that we have up here. We got you, which I would have really liked, but oh well. And we got you, which I would not have liked, and that's a really good trinket. I don't think it's too useful for dark room though. Final thing, paperclip. Oh. Well, I guess I get a revive chance. Well, sorry, lamb. I. <laughs> Sorry, it's just I, I I wasn't paying attention. I was holding D, my bad. I, I walked out the room. It's not you. It's not like you're a boring boss or anything. I, I was just focused on other things. Oh, what other things? Listen, you don't have to worry about it. I'm sorry, all right? My bad. Just let it go already, Jesus. Well, at the very least, I can say that I beat the lamb. Now comes the hard part. <laughs> I would say it's maybe doable if I don't touch Salem. But where's the fun in that? So, uh, here we go, I guess. I mean, I'll give it my best shot, don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't know how this is going to work out for us. What? what? What is that noise? Is everything okay? Are you good? I'm not getting sucked anymore. Oh! I'm not moving at all. Oh, Salem doesn't exist for the Mega Satan fight, maybe. Oh, okay. Well, now this just turned into a, can I beat Mega Satan with one hit? Okay, I'm down. Let's try it. Oh, no! Oh my god, I'm only on first phase now. This is actually impossible. Okay, alright. Well, good to know that Salem actually does exist in the Mega Satan fight. It's just a matter of time. Time, ladies and gentlemen. Time controls all. I can't believe I did those two horsemen. I mean, I do have an extra hit. Like, one hit, right? <laughs> I just... I don't know how much one hit's gonna do for me. But I do have it. I got no chance. I just gotta try it. I got no chance other than just go ham and hope I don't get hit. Nah, it's too hard! So do I res? I res and I lose my mantle and I still have to keep trying. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, here's a compilation of me dying while genuinely trying no matter what. I've, I've never had to dodge so tight in my life. What is that? I do find it kind of interesting that I guess Salem is just not affected by sensor whatsoever, but to be honest with you, it makes sense. How the hell would you do that? Salem's already a really slow character and enemy in general. I think slowing them down more considering their contact damage would just be terrible, right? Oh my god, I just realized this is Mega Satan phase one. <laughs> I still got phase two, which is gonna be absurdly difficult with Salem and the the sensor slowing things down. Oh no. There just ain't no way! Not one that I can see! Wait, this is the furthest I've been. Well, I got past that. That's pretty cool, right? A little commendable. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. oh wow, I whoopsies, my that one was bad. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, horseman done for. One final try, big man try. Oh my god! Whoa! Double mega blast. I've actually never seen you do that ever once in my thousands of thousands of hours. I'm not exaggerating. I didn't even know he could do that. I'm dead. Whoa! And then this one, I always just consider luck, honestly, depending on when the pride decides to do the cross attack. Oh, but I took care of pride. Oh my god, this could be the furthest one I made. This is it. This is as far as I've ever gotten on my last try. I like it. Okay. I like that. That's poetic. No matter what, I'm happy. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no one man should survive this chance. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? That was a perfect difficulty for specifically me. And I, I had so much fun. Salem is absurdly cool. And it's a difficulty you can choose, right? So GG's, GG's to Salem, you absolutely are not expected to survive. GG's guys.